And the official knife of Blade Show 2018 is the CRKT Caligo, as pronounced by TJ. It says only 150 of these are made, so I don't know if that's a typo and it's supposed to be 1,500. Welcome to Blade Banter. We're going to talk about specs, opinions, and discussions. This is a CRKT Columbia River Knife and Tool Caligo by TJ Schwartz. Uh, so on a side note, uh, TJ has another knife, uh, the Browse Icon, uh, that's uh, going to be coming out as well. Uh, so if you are interested in that knife, uh, this is going to be what it looks like. Uh, it's a $50 down payment uh, for the knife. And then uh, two of the styles are already sold out. Uh, so that's going to be a blade that runs about $149 to $189. So that $149 is off the table already. That's sold out as far as that pre-order. Uh, but there also is going to be another knife uh, that I'm looking forward to uh, is the Mass Drop uh, Millet Perpetua. So I will be getting this one in at some point. I don't really know when that's going to be, but that is ordered and will be on its way. Uh, so those are some of the knives uh, coming from TJ. Uh, so it's very exciting for that. Uh, so back to really the knife at hand. Uh, this one goes for uh, about $34.56. All the way up to $49.99 as far as the full retail price. But there are some special editions that you can get. Uh, so going back to uh, the Blade Show 2018, which I know everybody's getting really excited for. Uh, so this one, there, it's the official knife of Blade Show 2018. It does say only 150 made. Uh, so I don't know if that's going to be exactly right because it still is available. And it's been available for over a month now. Uh, so hopefully it has the sales to take it over and really sell out of this knife. So it does have the logo on this side. On the other side, it does have a signature as well as um, being serialized uh, for uh, this edition. Uh, it does go for uh, that high end, so about that almost $50 mark. And then you can actually go through uh, TJ's site itself. And then that's going to be uh, one that you can get out of the box and or blade signed by TJ Schwartz uh, for $49.95 uh, with free shipping to 48 states uh, within the United States. Uh, but that is the website address if you want to check that out. So the blade itself is uh, 8SR13 MOV. Uh, that's a pretty standard uh, fare as far as CRKT goes. Uh, but that is not uh, the best deal, but it's actually not the worst either, but this is going to be what kind of where it is. So for edge retention, uh, for that is going to be about here. So right below OS 8. And you're going to have uh, corrosion resistance uh, for it. If I can find it. So it's going to be right here, right above D2. For hardness, uh, you're going to have it right here, uh, right between OS 6 and OS 8. And then for wear resistance, uh, you're going to be right above 420 and then a little bit below OS 8 for rare wear resistance. Uh, so it is going to be one you're going to have to touch up a little bit. Uh, but a lot of my initial impressions for this knife are very good because, uh, again, this is one that I've had before. It was actually that Blade Show knife of the year. And I do really like it. Uh, so it's one of the blades uh, when I first got it, first opened it uh, from the package. It was one that actually uh, brought a smile to my face. I actually made a post of it at some point. Uh, but it is one that the design, uh, feel on hand, uh, some of the, the little intricacies about, about it uh, really made me enjoy uh, this knife. And especially for even being at that price point. So even if I was going to pay a little bit more for it, I still really uh, do like it as far as a knife that I'll carry, use on a fairly regular basis. And that's really that initial impression for that. So we're going to have a little bit of comparison for uh, the knife, comparison to some of the other ones that I have uh, currently. So we have the Best Tech. Uh, this is the Beluga. So this is my first Best Tech knife. We have one of the Kershaws. So that's going to be the Fraction. And then, of course, fairly popular one as far as Spyderco Delica. And this is you know, one of the uh, law enforcement museum ones. We have a Kershaw Dividend. And 
then the P801. So thanks again to Bats on Blades for that one. Ran out of space, so let's move that down a little bit. Put that one right there. So that's that comparison. You can kind of see the size comparison between some of the other blades here and then that uh, Caligo right there. So the blade is about uh, 1.8, uh, three, sorry, 3.185 as far as the blade. That is a drop point, uh, about 4.471 as far as the handle length. And so we'll check that out. We'll bring you in a little bit so you can actually see that on the little app that I use uh, for my tablet. Before I zoom in a little bit, I did want to let you know that this does still exist. This is something that I'm still playing around with as far as getting the media correct on it. So I do have a little you know, testing on the previous video where I'm uh, running a uh, fishing line through this, and then uh, having the knife here, and then getting that, uh, trying to get the, uh, the sharpness as far as a measurable uh, number that can be portrayed. So I'm playing around with this. It's kind of using random things, kind of piecing together. But let's get on to that measurement. Sorry for the glare there, but uh, so the blade comes in about three and a quarter inches, uh, which is going to be in centimeters, uh, eight, three uh, in centimeters. And let's check the blade length, or the handle length, sorry. So head length is about 4, 11, 30 second, and in centimeters, that's going to be 11 uh, centimeters uh, for that uh, length there. So that's going to be, now the factory one says uh, 3.185, and then uh, for the handle length, 4.471. Uh, so one of the things also that kind of provide uh, as far as the reviews is kind of the hand sizing. Uh, so something that you can actually download on your own so this can be at home so you can actually print this out it will print the scale or it should print the scale and then uh, you can see how the blade is actually going to fit in your hand uh, so this is going to be for an adult female you kind of see how that will sit there and then the other side is going to be adult male So just giving you something that really you can uh, look at on your own at home and then make that determination as far as uh, how the knife will be for you if it's good and if it's something that you want to pick up. Uh, so the blade uh, is supposed to be at about 3.4 ounces. Uh, so we're just going to double check that on the scale too to see if that is uh, fairly accurate. So we'll zero that out. About 3.3. Try that one more time. Yeah, so still 3.3. So, so possibly a little bit less uh, as far as the weight goes. And then we'll check that in grams. And so 91 grams. 3.3 uh, is what I'm getting uh, for it. So overall, as far as a pro uh, for the knife, the design itself is something that I really enjoy. Uh, so out of all the other knives, uh, this one makes it into my pocket uh, quite often as far as the way it carries. Uh, the way that it sits in pocket is very good. I like it a lot as far as how it, um, how it handles that. And then, so there's that deep carry pocket clip. Uh, it is right hand carry. And then uh, one of the things that I did find uh, for this one, the flipper tab is a probably, I feel, one of the better designs that I've come across. Uh, so it has both um, ways to deploy. Uh, so it does have the push button, so you can actually have this, this flat section here. So you can have the push button, but you can also have uh, the light switch. And that is uh, jimped a little bit on the top, but it's not too aggressive. Uh, so it's really uh, enjoyable to fidget. Uh, with this knife in both opening mechanisms or fashions. So one of the things that I utilize, uh, so the Lyman pull gauge, to kind of get that pressure as far as uh, how much weight it actually takes to actuate the blade. 
And then, uh, as you saw in the previous one, as far as the Kershaw fraction, that took about three pounds. Uh, so that's a lot. I mean, that was a lot of oranges. So if you go back to that one and see uh, how much that is, but it's just giving you an idea, something that you can actually uh, kind of put into a knowledge base on your side and then go pick up, I guess, a bag of oranges and see uh, how much weight that actually is. Uh, but we're going to look at that as far as this blade. Uh, so we're going to see on the pull as far as how much weight this one has as far as the pull for it. So that's going to be about 2.38 and uh, that's going to be 1 uh, kilogram uh, eight, no, 15. And so that is one of the good things about it as far as that ability to actuate it in those two different fashions and very comfortably. Uh, but some of the cons that you're going to have, it is uh, one of the positives and negatives. So it is that right hand uh, tip up carry only uh, for the blade. And then uh, in uh, if you have dry hands or it's a really dry area, uh, this is going to be a little bit slick. Uh, so the coating isn't... Uh, very grippy as far as like a G10 or my card or scale and then the blade uh, coating is more like a, a spray paint type of deal uh, so it's not going to be as durable as something else so even very light use you can kind of see uh, possibly that it's kind of wearing through a little bit uh, on this edge here uh, so that's one thing that's not going to hold up for a real long time uh, so you might have to go ahead and have this be a satin blade over time and then it does have a hot spot, uh, so right uh, in this area here. So in holding it in hand, that does hit, at least for me, as far as my uh, ring finger area. Uh, so if you're going to be holding it very tightly or doing a lot of hard work, that is probably going to be that hot spot for you. And then uh, something that, uh, I don't know if I'm the only one that comes across came across it, um, but if I can even get this in shot here. So right there, there's a little bit of contact uh, with the backspacer. So it is aluminum as far as the backspacer. Uh, so that's not going to be uh, too big of an issue uh, because it is a steel blade against an aluminum handle. Uh, but this is the second one that I've come across that has had that issue. So it very well might be the way that I'm operating the knife as far as causing that issue because uh, I do as far as kind of just open and close it. So I do fidget with the knife. Uh, so that might be uh, my own operational uh, error, uh, but there's two blades that it happened on. Uh, so I feel uh, they could probably change that uh, with upgrading either the, the stop pin or at least um, increasing the clearance from blade to that backspacer uh, to account for a little bit of that, uh, that movement uh, so it doesn't have that contact. But as far as a buy, borrow, or avoid, uh, after all those things, even some of those negative factors, uh, I would still recommend it. And then TJ is currently one of my favorite designers uh, right now. And then if you would like to still buy some different items, uh, he does have some different things uh, through his uh, web store. So he does have a comb. And then I think through Blight HQ, there is a, a fixed blade that you can pick up. Uh, so that is going to be that knife. And that is the official one of Blade Show uh, 2018. So if you want to pick that up, if you want to pick up uh, the special edition one, it says 150 of those knives. Uh, that is available on the Blade Show website. But let me know what you think. And thank you for your time.